Yeah, Susie and Jeff, Phil Levy told me that he was struck not too far from this street across from South Coast Plaza. He said he was crossing legally in a crosswalk. It was his green light when an elderly driver struck him. He says that he was visiting here trying to get some work experience. He was going to go right back home when this happened. He says he woke up from a coma and had nowhere to go. Tonight, for the first time, he shares a story. Life is precious. Very much so. You just don't know what's around the corner. It's a lesson this 31-year-old on a graduate visa from Ireland learned on this street corner near South Coast Plaza, February 1st. I got hit by a car. An elderly driver struck Phil Levy as he was walking back to the apartment where he was staying with a friend. He was rushed into emergency craniotomy surgery. Doctors removed a piece of his skull to release fluids. He spent two weeks in a coma. When he woke up, he had nowhere to go. Doctors forbade him from flying back to Kildare, Ireland, or from returning to his friend's apartment because the stairs there were too dangerous. He prayed for help. I lost my granny last year, and I prayed to her, basically. I think she was looking down on me. That's when he met retired Costa Mesa police officer and community activist Mary Spadoni. So I've sort of... Uh, it dressed myself as his American grandmother. Spadoni knew of him through a friend and decided to take him in. I would hope that if I were in Ireland and this happened to me, that someone in Ireland would do the same thing for me. Every morning, Spadoni now maps out their day with her rescue dog, Zenny, never leaving Levy's side. Well, I'm blessed. I'd be lost. She wasn't around to help me. Absolutely lost. On GoFundMe, Spadoni has raised $17,000 for medications, treatments, and second opinions not covered by Levy's traveler's insurance. Yeah, so I'm just grateful. I don't know how I'm going to thank uh, uh, people ever. I don't know. Just puzzles me. I don't know how I'm going to do it. When he gets on that plane to go home to his family, I'm going to be, I'll miss him. And Zenny will miss him, but I'll be so happy for him. Now, next, Levy, in the next couple of weeks, is going to undergo surgery to have that piece of his skull put back. He still has a really long road to recovery. If you'd like more information about his story or how to help him, just go to our website at kcal9.com. Back to you guys in the studio.